Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm deeply honored uh, to be with you here today. I want to acknowledge uh, His Eminence, the Archbishop of America, who we're graced and honored to be in his presence. Thank you so much for being here. And also, um, His Eminence, uh, the Metropolitan of Chicago, who is always here and supporting us in the city and, of course, the Greek uh, community in Chicago. I'm also grateful uh, for the new Council General, uh, who also is here, you just heard from, and of course, um, all the other electeds who are here, notably our treasurer, Maria Pappas, who represents this community so faithfully and so well. Raising the Hellenic flag in celebration of Greek independence is always an exciting and important event on our calendar. Feel the energy of people who love and care for the rich culture of Greek Americans and the Greek country. Greeks have been intertwined with Chicago's history since the 1840s, when the first few arrived to build a new life in this promised land. And we are fortunate to have a vibrant Greek community to this day in Chicago, in the Chicagoland area, one that is deeply tied to their roots. Maintaining that connection and honoring that culture truly adds to the vibrancy and richness of our city. The city is committed to doing everything we can to continue to strengthen that relationship and those connections. And I must acknowledge our cherished uh, relationship with Chicago's sister city, Athens. Athens and Chicago have been sister cities since 1997, and we will continue to foster this bond of friendship. And on the 201st anniversary of Greek independence, I want to thank you for preserving the culture in this city. I also must say two other things in, in closing. Number one, when we think about the fact that we are here celebrating the war for independence in Greece. We can't ignore what's happening and unfolding every single day that we're seeing real time on our televisions and news accounts of the struggle of the Ukrainian people also for freedom. The Ukrainian people have also had a long storied history here in Chicago. And I want to thank our Greek brothers and sisters who have rallied to the cause of the Ukrainians, both here and also in Europe, to make sure that freedom's fire continues to burn in every country and every heart that wants the same things that we do, to be able to live and fulfill their God-given potential and make sure that democracy is real and vibrant and thriving in communities and countries like the Ukraine. So we must thank our Greek brothers and sisters for what they have done here in Chicago to rally to support the quest for freedom and the fight against tyranny that is being played out every single day. The last thing I will say in these formal remarks is this. I looked in the audience as the Greek national anthem was being played. And I saw the rope line of young children who were singing the song, which said to me that the adults around them are passing down the culture and making sure that the next generation understands the importance of our heritage. This is, this is an honorable thing. And I, we have to say, God bless the parents, the teachers, and the other adults to make sure that Greek children growing up in the city understand the importance of history, but also their destiny and what must be done to fulfill the culture and keep it vibrant and alive. That is a blessing. That is a blessing that should be cherished. And on behalf of the city of Chicago, I have a proclamation that I would like to read. Whereas since its establishment, the city of Chicago has always been home to vibrant communities of diverse people hailing from all over the world, boasting distinct cultural heritage. And whereas Chicago is a home of a proud and vibrant Greek community that has bolstered the city in the realms of art, music, business, finance, law and government, education and social service, science and medicine. And whereas Greek heritage and culture is reflected around Chicago in our architecture, our museums, our universities, and of course our neighborhoods. And whereas since its founding, the Federation 
of Hellenic American organizations of Illinois have worked to preserve and promote Greek culture, tradition, and heritage in our society for generations to come. And whereas March 25th marks the start of the War of Greek Independence from the Ottoman Empire in 1821, and whereas to celebrate this occasion, Chicago's Greek American community will host thoughtful programming that invites residents to come together in celebration and commemoration of, Greeks, uh, of Greece's independence. Uh, now, therefore, I, Lori E. Lightfoot, mayor of the great city of Chicago, do hereby proclaim March 25th, 2022, to be Greek Independence Day in Chicago and encourage all residents to join in celebrating the many contributions of Greek Americans, past, present, and the future, day to this day. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you, Mayor Lightfoot. If we can have you stay one second, the president of NOC, Costa Kanotakis, has something for you. Hello everyone, Fronia Pola, the Federation of Hellenic American Organization Enosis. I want to honorable Larry Lightfoot to the mayor of the city of Chicago. Chicago and Greek American community does hereby confer a lifetime honorary membership in our organization with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto for your faithful support and devotion to the Greek community. On the occasion of the 201 year anniversary of the Greek national independence, this 25th day of March 2022. Thank you.